GMB. Welcome to Houston, the bottom of the south. If you ain't from around here, you might not make it out. I done seen it all. Plenty bowed and foul. One day buying the mall, next day lost it all. Don't let the hype fool you. Keep the two close by. Two close These jackets will play cool and hit you with the four five. I'm going to show you guys how to install. What is this thing called? The little things. Cleeks? I guess the cleeks to your Peloton shoes. Plus you. What you say? What you say? Cycling shoes. Sorry guys, I'm new to this. Oh, I can't get the camera right. All right, we looking somewhat right. So, as you can see, Peloton's right there. We actually have the Peloton shoes. Uh, I have a 47. My wife has a 43. Shoe really? Like it ain't like it's your age. So she has big feet, that's all it is. So I'm pretty sure the cleats go like this. Correct? Right? Yeah, that's what the instructions say. Look. Like that, right? Yeah. yeah, see? Told you it wasn't that difficult. Alright, so this is the actual part where it connects to the shoe. My wife have uh, other cycling shoes, and she paid for somebody to do this. I'm not paying nobody to do nothing, because I'm cheap. But then you're going to say, well, you got a $2,000 cycling bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure these little things right here, these little rectangle things go inside. Right, just like that. Self-explanatory. So, yep, they fit in just like that, guys. And then you just sit it down. And put the little boat thing in there and you do like two turns maybe two or three turns and then you just get it into the, the actual groove before tightening it down because you can center it the way you want and that's basically what I'm doing so, uh oh I dropped that one out of there Alright, so as you can see, I have them in there. Now you just have to line it up. So you want to look at the two corners at the bottom ones. And you want to have it at the very tip. And then you use the line at the top to make sure it's straight. And my wife is over there reading directions. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. But you have different numbers you can go on and it, it really depends when you're cycling you don't want to have your feet like this you want to have it straight like this much as possible so that's where I'm determining where I want mine at so I want mine on a four it's where my goal is for mine just tighten it up I don't think it matters which one you need to tighten first. I just hold it in place and tighten up the bottom ones. Yeah, it looks like it's straight. You having a hard time reading directions over there, babe? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. I'm pretty much done with my first one. Good for you. <laughs> You just make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten it because you might damage the actual shoes. But that goes with anything when you're tightening it. Don't over tighten it. But make sure it's tight. Alright. There go the first one. As you can see guys. Very simple. 
and then you proceed to do the next one the same exact way. Self-explanatory, guys. Self-explanatory. Now, would you still go pay somebody else to do this? Yeah. Seriously? My cleats were different. This wasn't the same cleats like this. So these are easier? At least you got two two pair. If you go over do cycle at twenty four hour fitness, you can do it at twenty four hour fitness. Then you can do it at home. All right. So remember, I'm going to do mine on a four. It's the same number I did the first shoe on. Tighten it in the spot. Tighten this spot right there. Sorry guys, I know the lighting is horrible. I didn't get my light bar or anything, but I do have an actual light. I just didn't want to take it out the closet. All right, that's it, guys. So, as you can see, the second one and the first one. And now you put mine on actual four. Number four. Somebody calling me? Now, that's the one thing I don't know how to do. Tight, loosen up these stupid. How you loosen this crap up? Well, that's how you tighten it. <laughs> oh, you just squeeze. <laughs> you just squeeze the the white thing. So I'm going to click in and actually see how it feels and if I need to make any kind of adjustments I will do that. Sorry, I can't do that. She can't do that. Alright, so... Strap the shoes on. Man, these shoes are actually comfortable. You got it back? But you need me help. You got it? What number you put yours on? Five. I feel like I got high heels on. You wore high heels? Huh? You wore high heels before? Yeah, I tried to wear high heels on a long time ago. I just want to see how, how I feel to walk on high heels. No, Jay, I ain't wearing no high heels before. All right, let me click in so y'all can see how I click in, guys. <laughs> All right, first one. Second one. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? You want to try yours after you're done? You want me to tighten them up for you? No, I got them. I'm just making sure they're easy. The same cleat one, remember. All right, so let me just do a test run real fast. Just a... All right, so... What's wrong?
Yeah, pretty good. All right, guys. I'm glad you've seen the video on how to install the bottom cleats of your Peloton shoes. Have a nice day. Oh,